Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on file handling functions in C language. So there are many file handling functions available in C language. So F open function, F close function, F get C function, F put C function, F tell function, F seek function, get W function, put W function, so etc. So these are the main file handling functions used in C language. First one is F open. So this function is used for opening a file in a particular mode, either read mode, ORR write mode, ORR append mode. If the file is already exists, the given file is open. If the file does not exist, so then with that name, a new file is created. So this is the description about the F open function. Next, what is the syntax of F open function? So file pointer FP, FP is equal to F open file name dot txt. This is the mode. So FP is the file pointer of the data type file. So here F open function is used for opening this file in this mode. Here we have to use three modes, read mode, write mode and append mode. Okay, so if the given file is already exists, then open that file in the corresponding mode. If the file does not exist, then it creates a new file with this name. Next. Second one is f get c function. So this function is used for reading the data from the given file character by character. So for that purpose, we have to use f get c function. Okay. So the syntax of f get c is variable name is equal to f get c within the parenthesis file pointer okay variable name is equal to f get c this is file pointer so here this function can read the data from the given file associated with the file pointer character by character what is the character we have to read from the file pointer that character is assigned to the variable on the left hand side. So for example, ch is equal to f get c of fp. Okay, fp is the file pointer associated with the corresponding file. So from this file, we have to read the character data character by character. So whatever the data is read from this file, that data can be assigned to the variable at the left hand side. Next one is f put c function. So this function is used for writing data into the file. So whatever the data we want to write, so that data is written into the file pointed by the file pointer. So the syntax is f put c ch comma fp f put c within the parenthesis variable name comma file pointer. So this is the syntax f put c variable name comma file pointer. So here whatever the data we want to write into the file that data is available in the variable name. Okay. So this data is written into the file pointed by the file pointer by using 
f put c function so syntax is f put c ch comma fp okay so here whatever the data we want to write into the file that data is available in variable name ch so this data is written into the file associated with the file pointer by using f put c function next f close function so this function is used for closing the file that is already opened using f open function so whatever the file we are already open for performing either read operation or a write operation so that file is closed after completing the either read operation or write operation so for that purpose we have to use f close function so the syntax is f close within the parenthesis file pointer okay so f close file pointer so this file pointer pointed to the corresponding file whatever the file we want to close it after completed the uh, reading operation or writing operation so that file is closed by using f close function example f close of fp this function is f close all function so this function is used for closing all the files at a time that are already open so what is the difference between so f close and f close all so f close function is used for closing only one file at a time but f close all function closes all the files that are already open at a time okay f close function can take only one parameter that is file pointer f close all function does not take any parameters third one is f close function closes only one file so that returns nothing value but in the case of f close all function this function returns how many number of files that are closed okay so these are the main different main differences between f close and f close all function next next function is f seek function so this function is used for moving the file pointer position to the desired position in the given file okay suppose a file pointer is there at any place in the program suppose we want to move the file pointer to any position in the program for that purpose f seek function is used f seek function can take three parameters first parameter is file pointer it is nothing but pointer to the corresponding file second one is offset offset means moving the file pointer either in forward direction or in backward direction so offset value is positive value that means move the file pointer in forward direction offset value is negative move the file pointer in backward direction next position position is nothing but position of the file pointer suppose if position value is equal to 0 it indicates that a file pointer is there at the beginning of the file position value is equal to 1 which means the file pointer is at the current position of the file third one position value is equal to 2 is nothing but the file pointer is available at the end of the file so this is the 
सिंटैक्स ऑफ फाइव पॉइंट एफ सी फंक्शन एफ सी फाइव पॉइंटर ऑफसेट पोजिशन पोजिशन वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो इट इंडिकेट्स दैट फाइव पॉइंटर इज देर एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द फाइन पोजिशन वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन इज नथिंग बट फाइव पॉइंटर इज एट द करेंट पोजिशन फाइव पोजिशन वैल्यू टू इज नथिंग बट फाइव पॉइंटर इज पोजिशन एट द एंडिंग ऑफ द फाइव सो ऑफसेट वैल्यू पॉजिटिव मीन्स मूव द फाइव इन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन ऑफसेट वैल्यू नेगेटिव मीन्स मूव द फाइव इन बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन नेक्स्ट फंक्शन इज यल फंक्शन सो दिस फंक्शन रिटर्न द करंट फाइव पॉइंटर पोजिशन Suppose in a given file, a file pointer is there at which place, so that can told by the if tell function. Suppose we can take a file. In that file, there are five uh, hundred uh, characters are there. Suppose file pointer is there at two fiftieth character, so then if tell function use the two fiftieth. character because the file pointer is there at the 250th character in the file so the ftl function returns the current file pointer position so where the current file pointer position at 250th character so 250 can be written so syntax is ftl of file pointer next function is a rewind function so this function moves the file pointer to the beginning of the file okay suppose we can take a file in that file there are 10000 characters are there suppose we are at uh, 555 character so whenever we are calling the rewind function the file pointer position can be moved from 550th character to the zeroth character in the given file so for that purpose rewind function is used so rewind function is used to move the file pointer position to the beginning of the file okay so syntax is rewind within the parenthesis file pointer next function is if error function so this function is used for detecting any error occurred during either read operation from the given file or a write operation into the file so if any error is detected during either read operation or a write operation so to detect that error we have to use one function called if error function so next one is next function is yf ye bo yf function so this function is used for detecting the end of the file okay so it indicates whether the current file pointer position is at the end of the file or not so to know that the file pointer position is at the end of the file so for that purpose we have to use e bo f e bo f function so next function is yf scan f function so this function is used for reading integers characters uh integers characters etc from the given file sometimes we may read the floating point values okay this function is used for reading the data from the given file such as integers characters floating point values so the syntax of yf scan f function is uh, uh can take three parameters first one is file pointer second one is format specifier third one is ampersand variable name so by using these three parameters f scan f function can read the integers integer data floating point data from the given file next syntax contains file pointer 
it is uh, pointed to the corresponding file format specifier so format specifier is nothing but percentage v percentage f percentage ld so that are the format specifiers cam present variable name okay so example f scan f fp comma percentage d percentage t ampersand roll number comma ampersand h okay so next function is f printf function so this function is used for writing the integers data floating point data character data so into the given file so for that purpose f printf function is used so f printf file pointer format specifier comma variable name comma variable name so example f printf file pointer is fp comma so control format is percentage d percentage d because roll number is also integer age is also integer so for that purpose f printf fp percentage d percentage d comma roll number comma age so by using these two functions by using f scan f function so here we have to read the integers characters floating point values from the given file so next one is f printf function this function is used for printing the um, integer data character data floating point data into the given file so the syntax is f printf so file pointer comma format specifier comma uh, variable name one comma variable name two so here only ampersand is the difference the remaining all are same next one is a read function so this function is used for reading the data from the given file so syntax is a read function within the parenthesis ampersand structure variable comma size of the structure variable comma um, number of structure variables comma file pointer so it can take uh, four parameters file pointer is associated with the corresponding file number of structure variables how many number of structure variables are declared uh, for a how many number of structure variables are uh, declared so that number returns the number of structure variables size of the structure variable before finding out the size of the structure variable first find out the uh, find out the structure and after that how many number of variables are declared so f free ampersand structure variable is ampersand std size of structure variable is size of std file pointer is uh, 2 file pointer is fp next one is f write function so this function is used for writing the data into the given file so the syntax is f write within the parenthesis ampersand uh, uh, structure variable comma size of structure variable comma number of structure variable comma file pointer so these four parameters can be taken by the f write function so this function mainly contains four uh, parameters so first one is uh, ampersand structure variable comma size of structure variable comma number of structure variable so by using this syntax we have to write the data that is integer data or character data or floating point data so that data is written into the uh, corresponding file so for that purpose we have to use f write function